Hi, everyone. I hope you've had a good week. It's been an interesting one with winter one day and spring the next and winter the next day and spring the next. It's been a mixed up time in God's beautiful creation, but I hope you've had good days. Today we're going to talk about sharing. You know, when Jesus was here on earth, he shared many things. He shared his kindness, his lessons. He shared his ability to heal others. We read about Jesus in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. We're now thinking about the time after Easter when Jesus left the earth and his friends and students and followers continued his ministry. We read about this in the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles continued to teach and preach and heal and pray with people, and many people wanted to follow them. You know, after Easter, Jesus was called Jesus the Christ. Christ meaning Savior or Messiah of that Old Testament prophecy. So the people who chose to follow the disciples were sometimes called Christians, Christians. That word Christ is in the name they were given. Also, they were sometimes called people of the way because they were following the way that Jesus had taught us, the way of God. The early believers, the Christians, the people of the way, shared everything. They shared their possessions and their money. They shared their meals and prayers. And that tradition of sharing is part of our faith also. Let's think about what we might share. I have the letters that spell share. And let's try to think of something that begins with each letter that we could share. So for S, we could share our smiles. Those are very easy to share, and they can make someone's day. The next letter is H. We could share happiness. We might make a bunny face to share happiness, or a picture with markers and stickers to share happiness with someone else. The next letter is A. That could stand for affirmations. Affirmations are things we share that tell people how much we appreciate things about them, what we really like about them. We might write a card and the affirmation would be, I really like the way you listen so closely when someone is talking. Or you might write a card that says, I really like the way you find ways to share every day. I appreciate that. Another letter is R. We can share right relationships with the people in our lives. You know, sometimes we have disagreements, problems. Maybe we've made a mistake. Maybe we are finding it hard to share, but for some reason, we aren't getting along. And we can find a way to get back to a right relationship and share that by saying, I'm sorry, or I forgive you, or let's go play. So a right relationship is something we can share. The last letter is E. We could share encouragement. We could say, you can do it. Keep going. Keep trying. I know you can do it. We could share encouragement if something is easy for the person we're sharing with. We could share encouragement if something is really difficult for them and they're struggling. Share is a little word. It only has five letters, but there are five million things that we can share almost every day. Let's pray together now. We'll fold our hands, close our eyes and bow our heads, and we'll all say amen together at the end. 
Dear God, we thank you for all the beautiful blessings of our lives. We thank you for all the ways we can share these. Please help us to remember to share with others every day. God, we thank you for our family and friends. We pray for all the people in your world who are in need, and we pray that we might help them in some way. Dearest God, we pray in the name of Jesus, your Son, Jesus the Christ. And as Christians, we all say together, Amen. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful week of sharing. Enjoy your days. We'll see you next time.